You know our setup, right? Here, you know, if we can take something, we'll take it. Oh, look at this sucker. Look at him go. Oh, it's just, it's just, it just feels awful just to see the gall on this guy. To see that in a bullet game, especially a bullet game. Oh, that just tickles me the wrong way. Make sure to get castled. I can't believe it. He really tried that, didn't he? Knight here will get castled. Take that. We'll bring the rook to the middle. What are we going to do here? H6. Some habits. Uh, A6. We'll bring our queen, you know. Oh, okay. Hang on a sec. You're going to give me your knight here. You don't have to be that kind. Trades. You know we do those. You know we do those, baby. We're going to bring our rook over as well. Because we've got those habits in here. We're ready for the day. Now, hang on just one second. Bishop takes h6. What in the blue hell is going on here? g6. Nothing to worry about. Not concerned at all. h4. Let's bring our knights into the middle. I'm not concerned here. In fact, I'm unconcerned. Oh. Well, it's fair to say we just got knocked the hell out. Completely knocked out. And you know why? It's this open file. And you know what? That reminds me of a few other games. Do you remember a game where I got checkmated? I think it was on G2. Yeah, I got checkmated for no reason. And it was once again due to this open file. I'm starting to think that this open file is not worth it. I'm really starting to believe it. It's only been bad news for me. I don't think I want to allow that. I don't think I want to allow that. It looks highly effective. I'm castling, I'm doing everything right, I'm getting my king to safety, and Buddy just brings his queen or rook here, and all of a sudden it's an easy win. Oh, Stu, we're going to avoid not just this, but specifically, like, if I've got a nice bishop develop, look, I've already taken care of development. This knight doesn't really bother me. I'm just gonna continue with habits here. Okay, my bishop's on c8. I might take that piece. That helps me. But if I've already developed something, I'm probably not gonna be tempted to move it again. So at the very least, that'll help me. Look, if you get your pieces where they're supposed to be, leave them there, right? Unless unless you're, you're trading a piece normally, like, you know, bishop for bishop or something. But going out of my way to take this only to mate myself later? I mean, this looks insane. Why am I allowing this? A nice little amendment there. Also, this guy was a very aggressive player, and I think he had a good style, right? He got that bishop out, he got the queen over. And there was nothing I could do. I was threatened with checkmate here. G6, I mean, he's still mating me. These games are gonna happen in bullet, where your opponent just absolutely overwhelms you, seriously. And it doesn't mean that, you know, your whole, uh, your whole system or philosophy is dead just means you probably got knocked the hell out, which is exactly what happened. So we're going to see how we handle it the next time it comes around. But for the most part, that was a pretty nice KO by the guy. I mean, he just went after our king and that open file was the worst news for us. If it wasn't an open file, I don't think any of this would have happened. We're still fighting here.
¿eh? I don't understand. You're giving me pieces. Leave me alone, dude. You are giving me pieces. Castle. Finally, I have a moment to castle. Brook here, we want H3, the habits. Whoa. Let's stay in the center here. Jeez, Louise. I can't go anywhere in the center. Oh my goodness. It's like the only available square. Holy smokes there, pal. This guy's steamrolling me with pawns. Low AG. Let's take that. It's a trade. Let's take this guy. Oh, bishop takes. Rook to the middle. We have some uh, pawns to push over here. And hang on. Draw by repetition. Two equally matched opponents finding a draw by repetition. What can I say? Chess played, bullet chess played at its peak. We've maximized bullet chess with this game right here. You can't pre-move more than one move on mobile. Exactly. You can't, you shouldn't be playing on mobile. What can I say? How much time did we make up? This guy was a good player, by the way. Very good player. Look, we just moved our knight around randomly. It's under 10 seconds. What can I do? I mean, we're dead lost. We're dead lost. But as soon as we couldn't move our knight, we started moving our king. Okay. Repetition. Okay. We know the setup. Here it comes. Knights out. Ship out. We want to bring our king to safety. We want to get some habits in there. Whoa, buddy. Uh, <laughs> it's not how you castle. That is not how you castle. That is also not how you castle. All right, rook to the middle. Let's uh, get this bishop developed, of course. We'll definitely take this. It's also free, but I was going to trade it anyway. He's just moving that rook. He's just moving that rook. Let's bring the uh, rooks to the middle. Oh, a trade. Oh, no, the G file's open. I'm going to get mated now. I'm going to lose the game. Okay, I'll take. The game is lost, it's forced mate. It's forced mate. It's giving me a free rook. Giving me a free rook. Continue with the random pawns. Well, that worked out. Let's bring our pieces back into the middle. Oh, and we have uh, less than 10 seconds, which means it's very important to pick a piece.
just move it and just move it. I'm telling you it works. Don't stress trying to find the good moves. Don't stress trying to play chess or checkmate. None of that stuff. Just move one piece wherever the hell you want. Okay, e4, knight f3 of course, knight c3, bishop c4. Castle. This is just a nice, you know, nice easy play here. D3. Let's get the habits in. We want to get our bishop to E3 as well in the center. We know the drill though. Queen d2, rook d1, right? We get this position every time. Takes. Okay, I'll take it back. I'll take you back. Rook's in the middle. I'm gonna take a piece, of course. That actually leaves a free piece there that I'm gonna have to take as well. And I'm gonna have to say thank you very much. Time for some random pawns here. Here they come. Oh, trades will always do. Oh, gotta move our queen here. And move our queen again. Take that. More random pawns. Okay, let's uh, bring a knight to the center. Oh, we got a free piece here. Appreciate it, bud. Let's save it. Thank you, brah. All right, let's pick. Pick a piece and just send it. Again, you don't need to sit here. I feel like so many people after this move, they might sit there and be like, oh shoot, C5. I could take it this way, but I could take it this way. Oh, I guess I'll do this. And maybe your opponent pre-moves this. And you're like, oh, I could take it, but it's pinned. All that is worth like 10 seconds. You flag by that. Just shuffle your king back and forth in the corner and literally the game will end. <laughs> it's so much easier. All right, E5. You guys at this point should be able to Get these moves with me and they shouldn't be taking you very long to throw out there knight nice and easy i mean somebody tell me what the hell that move is all about <laughs> trade sure castle right free pawn like this this should be simple stuff this should be simple knight gets attacked let's move back have it. Gonna get uh, our pawn uh, up there and our bishop. Okay, let's trade that. Okay, knight's attack. Let's move it into the center. Okay, that's a free bishop over there. Gotta take free stuff. I'll keep taking it. Queen's under attack. Let's retreat. Bring our rooks into the middle. Oh, a free piece you shouldn't have. You shouldn't have. Far too kind. Oh, sure. I'll take it. I'll take it. Oh, you're going to offer it to me again. Sure. Sure. You're really offering me this. Is it my lucky day? Oh, hang on, guys. Move my body back and forth. Oh, hey.
Like it's it's really that easy. It's really that easy. You don't need to go promoting a pawn and then trying to do a mate. You're not that good yet. You don't know how to mate. You're a stalemate, convoluted, get in trouble. All you have to do is just, just take a piece and just bring move it randomly. It doesn't need to make sense. It absolutely doesn't need to make sense. Yes, he had more time than me. Yes, I might have lost, but if you can just get pre-moves together, that sets you apart from four to five hundreds, like immediately. You'll notice that, you know, I'm not making pre-moves that are like rook down here. Because number one, that's a long move. Like it's it's just a long way to travel. And it's much faster to make pre-moves that are beside one another, right? Because your mouse doesn't have to travel very far. So it's just nice and easy to click, 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 click. But as soon as you start getting like rook down here, right? And then like rook over here and here and here, like those are big moves. You're probably gonna mess them up or they won't be pre-moves or something. E4, we know the knight wants to come out. This knight uh, to C3, this bishop to C4. We've done it time and time again, right? Castle ASAP on the D3. Habits, rook to the middle. Okay, pawn there, we're always just gonna grab that. Oh, knight there, I'll take for sure. Not stopping me from castling, so I'll go ahead. Trades, always. And with a smile, I might add. Queen here, let's bring the rook to the middle. We wanna bring this bishop here as well. Okay, he takes. All right, let's continue with our plan. Bishop uh, e3, probably queen here and rook d1. Okay, he took. We know we want to go here, but ah, <laughs> perfect timing for this move. Perfect timing for this move. Well, I can't put my uh, rook there, which is a little annoying. Let's go push some pawns. Let's push some pawns. I don't know. Rook here. I knew that was going to be a good move. <laughs> I knew he was going to go here. Put that rook back into the middle of the board. Aha. Seems like every time the rook gets here, it's really successful. <laughs> All right, it's time. Hey. Hey. It's time. Okay, it's time. G5 was a cold shower. It's time. I was going to go on a nice little journey here. I was going to go on a nice little journey. He stopped me. Luckily, we still won. But only barely. Um, this was rather one-sided in the sense that I had a big time advantage. Strictly from following the habits in the opening. And honestly, I think Rook D1 is like a pretty normal move here to keep following the habits. I mean, yes, it's a blunder, but it's a very expected blunder, honestly, which is why I eventually did it. But we were just up so much time. Um, something that we'll probably get in the habit of doing a bit later on is like, you know, when your opponent has low time, like two seconds, it doesn't really matter how much time you have. You should probably already just be flagging them, you know? Alright. Oh. We always like a trade. We always like a trade. We want to get castled here. Castle me, please. Whoa. Alright. And the rook to the middle. Bishop. 
Habits, Queen, Rook, Pawns, baby. All right, now we need maybe some knight moves in the middle. We've exhausted all of our uh, pawn moves. This knight move also helps me make other random pawn moves. I couldn't really tell you what that's all about. Okay. Sure. That looks like a trade. We'll always bring another rook into the middle as a result. More random pawn moves. Here we go. We're running out of pawns, actually. There we go. Oh, we've taken everything. Bring that knight in the middle. And now, with time ticking, seven seconds, I think it's time. What can I say? The old move pieces wherever the hell I want to trick. It's working wonders. Under 10 seconds, that's the go-to move. That's the signature move. Like the people's elbow. Yet another game. Yet another E4. Knight F3, Knight C3 performance. Get castled as soon as possible. Oh my goodness. I don't want to open up the G file. Golly gee. Some habits. Oh, those were some good habits. All right. Pieces in the middle. Pieces in my pocket. Habit, take the queen. Absolutely. Take that queen for sure. Some random pawns here. I'll take that piece. Don't mind if I do. Pawns are pushing, baby. Let's send those pawns a little bit. Let's bring some pieces into the middle. I also want to bring this knight back. It's kind of good. Okay, c6. Kick me out there. We're going to bring the knight back to uh, F3. Back into action. Oh, very happy to see a trade. Very, very happy. Double up. The rooks are always stronger that way. If I see something to take, putting it in my face, sure, I'll take it. He's, he's really sending it over there. Oh, that's for me. Oh, it's about that time. It's about that time. Why bother <clears throat> trying to find all these tricky moves and mates? And you can just pick up that king and just start motoring it around the board. But, I mean, I'm being handed these wins. Like, queen h6 is just... Hey, it's going to take you guys some time to find these moves. I'm seeing them instantly. Of course. But, this is, this is what I'm saying. There are a lot of hanging pieces just waiting for you. Especially in this tax bracket, let's call it. But seriously... I think it's a very similar to school. You might be laughing at all this pre-move garbage I'm doing and saying, oh, haha, ha, you know, he's just, just for entertainment. But I don't believe that's the case at all. He might be entertaining, 
but it actually works. And even at higher levels, of course, we're going to refine things. We're not going to be as careless, but we're still going to use the same concepts, even at higher ELO. Like you'll see Daniel Naroditsky do an improved variation of what I'm doing right now, just shuffling randomly. Of course, when you get to, you know, his 3,400 bullet level, he's doing the same concept, but of course he's just added things onto it from the level that we're doing it at right now. So I don't think it's a waste of your time to learn how to pre-move, to learn how to do multiple pre-moves and to get good at that because when we move on to the next level in habits, you're going to need to know how to do that. And it's going to be helpful that you can. Let's get another game and see if we can't cross 550. We know about this opening. Right, we're used to it now. Okay, D5, we're always going to take that. Oh, we're going to take that as well. Sure. Let's get some habits in there. Oh, Bishop got attacked. Okay. <laughs> Bishop got attacked. Okay. Rook here. Whoa! Bishop A3. Some... Holy smokes. Someone want to explain that one to me. Bring the rook to the middle here. Bishop to E3. Looks like he tried to castle and just limped over here because he couldn't. King there. We're going to bring the queen up. Rook over. Oh, bring that rook up. Let's get some pawn moves in here. Whoa, rook over there. I'm going to have to take you there, sir. Sorry about that. Can't have you getting all antsy. More pawns. Some more pawn moves. Oh my goodness. He's just giving me everything. That's what I'm saying. Like, people are going to just feed you material. You just got to be able to take it. Just got to be able to, like, physically grab the pawn and drop it there. See what I mean? All you have to do to win these games is you just have to physically be able to grab the queen, drag it up the board, and drop it right there. That's all you need to do. And if you do that, you'll win the game. I'm telling you, it's that simple. Just pick that queen up, just drag it, and just take the free material that's being offered to you. Just take it. At 500 ELO, people are giving you queens, rooks, bishops, knights, left, right, and center. They're just tossing material at you. The pieces are going to come to you like in in 500 500 yellow bracket. I'm telling you, people are just throwing free pieces at you more than you can handle. Right? When you're 500 elo, you're a guy in a relationship. All right? When you're 2000, 2500, 3000, trust me, you're not in a relationship. It's obvious. If you're 3000 elo, you're you're grinding chess. There's no way. There's no way you're out meeting ladies. When you're 500 ELO, you're a relationship bra, and we all know what happens. When you're in a relationship, all the girls get thrown at you. It's the same thing with the free pieces here. You're in the 500 ELO bracket. The free pieces are just gonna be tossing themselves at you. Temptation left, right, and center. It's a lot different down here at 500. Up at 3K, there's no free pieces anymore. So trust me, fellas, enjoy your time here in 500. Because you're not getting free pieces when you're up at 3K. Like, it's few and far between. If I'm playing Daniel Naroditsky in a match, and I get a free night, oh my god, <laughs> makes my day. Makes my day. Just, just, just the fact that they would ask for my ID when I'm 45 and still single. Oh, it makes me feel young again. But I'm telling you, enjoy your life in the 500s. Lots of free pieces, lots of action. Just enjoy it because it's it's not there for very long. Love all these free pieces. Grand 353. All right, well, we know we're starting with this. This is uh, some familiar stuff. Don't really know what you're doing there, brah. Gonna castle ASAP.
F4. Hmm. Well, tell you one thing. Let's uh, kick the knight out. Oh, he's taking here. I see a free knight. Okay. That was not a free knight. <laughs> I'm now learning. That is a free queen, though. And I will happily take that off your hands there, big grand. Let's put that back. Oh, e5. Don't mind if I do. I'll take that uh, off your hands there. Might take your bishop next. Oh, queen's under attack. Let's save that. Here we go. Okay, well, let's definitely take this. We know we want to do that. Rook to the middle here. We're going to follow up with rook to d8. Oh, this looks like a capture. Bring the rook uh, into the middle here. Oh, hang on. Hang on. That's for me to take. Oh, that's for me to take as well. Pawn moves coming in clutch here. Oh, shoot. Oh, it's getting into crunch time, guys. I think you know what that means. Well, that wasn't too difficult. Most stress-free part of the game. Moving the queen literally wherever I want to. Isn't it so liberating? The whole game, you have to be careful where you put your queen not to blunder it. And then when you have less than 10 seconds, you can just do whatever you want. Doesn't that feel great? And in this class, you actually get rewarded and praised for doing whatever you want. I'm telling you, people are missing out not being in this class. You literally don't have to play end games ever. Correct. You don't see me buckling everyone down and saying, hey guys, today we're learning the Philidor position. Eh? Philidor. No. No. <laughs> Absolutely not. Jumping right back in here. E4, E5, of course. We know the knights are coming out next. Oh my goodness, look at him. Look at this dirty little move. Queen H5. Why is he even thinking about his next move? We know what he's going to do. You're kidding me. You didn't go there? Almost want to let him do it. I can't believe he didn't threaten me. What kind of Queen H5 player are you? Whoa, we have some uh, very vocal students here. Looks like some people are really not a fan of this opening. Let's get the king castled, of course. Well, of course. H6, some habits. Okay. We'll take that back. Oh, trades we know we go for. Always trade. Trade, trade, trade. And this pawn we'll definitely take. Okay. Oh, knight here. Okay, well, I'm going to take a free piece. And I'm definitely going to take that knight in the corner here. I'll bring my... Oh, trade. Alarm's going off. Trade time. Rook to the middle and time for some pawns, baby. Here we go. Time for B5, A5. Look at us go. We're just pushing. Oh. Okay. Take that. Keep on pushing. Trade everything. And not a very difficult conversion at the end, just because my opponent was already quite low on time, honestly. And we're 569 now. 
I mean, a nice simple opening. Nice simple opening. GG. 569. Nice little rating there. Nice. Black pieces again. Aha. Bishop c4. We're going to get our knights out here. Won't take long to get there, you think? Knight here. Okay. Well, I almost have to play this move. Knight takes d5. I wonder what the 400 is cooking up here. I see a knight. I'm going to take it. Oh, hang on a sec. I see a pawn. I'm going to take that. Just trying to, just a guy trying to complete my development, you know? Just a check here and there. Make sure we get castled. Not trying to be, not trying to be anyone I'm not. Bishop always goes here. King always wants to castle. My opponent always wants to disconnect. He's still here. He tricked me. I thought he was gone. I thought he was gone. Okay, d3. Let's continue. Oh, my knight is being attacked. Can't really go into the center here. Let's go back here. Huh? Would you look at this? Amazing. Didn't see this, but now it's a free piece. Look how that's worked out. Mr. B Boy 74? With a remarkable disguise. One, two, three, four. A remarkable disguise. This must be a 2,400 clothing. I was so flustered from B-Boy74. I thought he disconnected here. Well, he did disconnect for 20 seconds. Then didn't even look at what move he did. Who did Rook F2? Who is this guy? He's an animal. Rook F2. Simply walking in, the bishop takes Rook. But me, the 500, didn't even notice it. Didn't even know that. Cat, look at me, I'm castling. It's completely oblivious. Playing knight g6, reacting to the threat. Completely oblivious to bishop takes rook. I only noticed it once I took his bishop. One, two, three, four. Well, at the end, we were just getting our pre-moves in. But bboy74 probably had the best chance here. Not only did he trick us with this move. I thought he was just dc. Our queen was hanging here. Did not notice the pin. Don't really know what a pin is. Is that where you guys are using to take notes? In our next game, you'll notice that we are following habits to a T. E4, knight f3. We bring the knights out first, knights before bishops. We know our bishops go into c4. We've been playing this non-stop so far. Every time there's a possible trade, we'll take it. We'll bring our knight into d5. And look at this, unstoppable habits. If there are trades in front of you, go ahead and take them. We're just sticking to the habits here. Getting castled ASAP. Focusing on getting developed. D3. Rookie 1. H3 habits. That's a trade. Rook to the middle. And you see these moves are automatic. Oh, another trade. Let's get uh, h3, nice habits move. Queen to the middle, rook to uh, d1. Bring the rooks in, right? Here we go. And then probably a bunch of random pawn moves that I'm not gonna think about. Oh, trades, we do trades. We do trades over here. Let's uh, shove some pawns here. No clue what he's doing, but we're doing this. Oh. Hang on a sec. Queen's under attack. Let's stay in the middle here. Trades. Fine with me. 
Back to my random pawns. Oh, trades. Always yes. Always yes. Oh. Definitely going to be taking that. Let's keep uh, the queen in the middle here. Oh, we'll take that. Oh, sure. We'll take that. Take everything in sight. Oh, hang on a sec. Oh, hang on a sec. Let's activate our... Right? It's liberating feeling. We're activating our pre-move wherever the hell you want technique. And it works like a charm every time. It works like a charm. Don't use any of your brain power trying to decide if where you moved is a good move, a safe square, anything like that. Just put it there. Just do it. I promise you it'll work. Let's get back in here. E5. You already know. Holy smokes, we got some high key gameplay. Where's my knight going? No, 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 no. Okay. Damn near forcing me. Knight has to go to g8. I see a free pawn. I'm going to take a free pawn. Uh, <laughs> yeah, these, these habits work. <laughs> Here's the thing with habits. If they worked every single time, think of it this way. If they worked every single time, then I would possess probably the most valuable asset in the chess industry, right? If they worked every single time, 100%. The most valuable asset in chess, period. I would be selling that for thousands, if not millions of dollars. Now I'm, give, I'm, I'm here giving it to you for free. So I think you know that this operates with the majorities. This is, this is a nine out of 10 functional product, right? Nine out of 10 doctors recommend. This is the one doctor who doesn't, right? This is the one game. It's just an anomaly, statistical anomaly. It happens, it's bound to happen. This isn't foolproof, it's human, it's man-made, a man-made creation. Let's just say things like this are gonna happen, all right? It's not perfect. It's not perfect. But the amount of times I'm gonna face queen the goddamn F3, G4, G5, Bishop, C4, and Queen takes F7 has to be few and far between. I hope. <laughs> we'll see. That was a bad loss. Here we go. The Knights want to come out. Uh-huh. There we go. We want to get castled. Remember, habits. We're not taking that night this time. We've learned our lesson. We're not doing it this time. Let's bring the rook to the middle. Yep, bishop up. We're of course gonna bring the queen up, bring the rook over, just like always. They're gonna blunder their queen, just like always. And their knight, just like always. Knight's under attack. Let's bring that sucker back. I'm happy to take that. Appreciate it, bud. Let's bring that bishop right back into the center. Oh, don't mind if I do there. Oh, listen, please. You're too kind. 
far too kind. Oh, look, listen, more than hospitable. Happy to take that. Let's finally try to complete my develop. Oh, no, you really shouldn't have. You really shouldn't have. Uh, we're finally completing our development. Move in a few random pawns here. Let's get a pawn pushed in the center. Oh, we're under 10 seconds. Well, I think our work here is done. I think our work here is done. Hey. Oh, that was convenient. Well, that was convenient. I stopped my little inroad here. Stop me from walking up the board. What the hell is that? I'm telling you, your life is a lot easier if you just pre-move a billion moves in a row. Why am I sitting here trying to figure out how to mate the guy? I'll probably stalemate him. Or I'll mess it up and I'll flag. This way, you won't do either of those things. There's no way to mess it up. E5. We've seen the opening before, haven't we? We know what's going on. We know what to expect. Oh my goodness. Look at these guys. They still play this trash. G4 and G5. It's unbelievable. This game is going to be the final straw. This game is going to be the final straw. There's no way... This opening is going to dismantle. Remember, this is another anomaly. It's just two anomalies back to back. We got to do something about this. Any suggestions, fellow habiteers? I've got a suggestion. We only need to buy one move. We only need to buy one move and then we're golden. Once we castle, I don't care. D5, ah, D5 is giving up material. Knight D4 looks very nice. In fact, if I see a queen on F3, I might just incorporate Knight D4 permanently. You know what else I can do? H6, right? H6, just a, a nice calm habits move, right? Stops G5, we know it's a useful move. H6. Am I drinking Canada dry? Well, I'm trying to, but uh, I can only have so much liquor. Take that. That's how you refute that garbage London. Get it out of here. Okay. First time we've seen the uh, Sicilian. I actually forgot people could play this move. I just haven't seen it yet. <laughs> forgot that was even a thing. Habits, little rookie one, bishop e3. You guys know the drill. These moves should get faster and faster when you're playing your games, you know? Oh, trades we always go for. Of course, when our knight's attacked, get used to it. Move it into the center if possible. If those two squares are available, pick one. Uh, thank you. I'm just going to go back. 
gonna pick your pocket and uh, return to business as usual. Rook into the middle. Let's get that bishop out. And of course, get the queen up and rook over. Oh, would you look at that? Oh, you shouldn't have. Oh, far too kind. Yoink. Queen back. Of course, we want to bring that uh, that rook over. Okay, we're going to recapture. Bring the rook to what? <laughs> rook here. F5. Let's save that rook. My goodness. We'll take that uh, free piece there. Bring the bishop back. Oh, guys. Time's a ticking. Oh, hey. telling you i wish it was more difficult than this so there were more things to teach but it's that easy i wish it was more difficult i could keep you guys in class for longer but it's truly that easy pick a piece and just put it somewhere We go at f3 c3 we know what's happening here mm -hmm. castle you know we want d3 we know we want h3 oh a trade we will do okay rook to e1 right bishop to e3 these moves are i mean they should be pretty standard by this point Trades, always trade. Awkward. This should all be very standard by this point. Queen d2, rook d1. Mm -hmm. Pieces into the middle. Oh, trades we always do. Oh, thank you very much. Let's, of course, double those rooks. Let's uh, move a couple random pawns here. Don't mind if I do. Oh, little trade. Don't mind if I do. Oh, let's keep moving those pawns. Let's keep moving them. Whoa. What the heck is happening here? Let's save our rook. That looks uh, important. More pawn moves. Pawns are coming in. I'm pushing all of them. Oh, I think it's about that time, guys. We have to unleash our secret weapon. Was highly effective that was highly effective nice and easy just pick a piece and hey why is the queen such a nice piece because it's the easiest to move you can move it like a king you can move along range. it's just the easiest piece to move and it provides the most coverage so if i'm moving the king i'm not necessarily preventing moves from my opponent if i'm moving the queen it's easy to move just one square at a time, and it also exerts a lot of pressure in different directions. So it might actually do work in preventing moves from your opponent. Plus, when you're moving your queen, it looks menacing. You look like you're threatening stuff. Your opponent's calculating, but when you're shuffling your king, they know you're kind of messing around. So it's nice to use the queen. It's nice to use high value pieces. You look like you're up to something, even though you're not. You know what I mean? It looks like something's going on, even though it's just totally innocuous behavior. Like two dudes buying condoms for their respective girlfriends. 
normal behavior, but it looks like you're up to something.